You see, God's law reveals our sickness, but the gospel of Jesus Christ is the remedy for our sickness. And the Bible says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. As the scripture says, righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten thy words. The word is pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and shall I live? Folks, real quick, folks, the Bible says that it's been appointed for man to die once, and then comes the judgment. When we die, we will all have to answer to God according to His standards, which is His commandments. I've broken all ten of them. For example, thou shalt not lie. Jesus said that the liars will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. And my friends, I'm here just for another two minutes because of love. The Bible says that the only way we can escape God's judgment and His wrath is by putting our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus came into this world People through a virgin to have birth. A lunch here and you're irritating them. And Jesus Christ died of a bloody death on that cross for our sins. Why do you like to annoy and He was buried and He rose again from the grave. And those that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Christ alone will be saved. It says we're saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and not of our works lest any man should boast. So my friends, our sins will kill you, but Jesus Christ can save you. Please put your faith and trust in Christ now before it's too late. Jesus said, I tell you that unless you repent from your sins, you will all likewise perish in your sins. And Jesus said, you must be born again from the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to inherit the kingdom of God. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. I love you very much. How are you? Hi. This Hi. video camera's going. Isn't it? I know. That's great. I'm from Tucson, and my husband and I are believers. I just want to encourage you. You've got some hostility, but it's spiritual. We're in a spiritual world. Hey, Amen. So I'm just, I'm encouraged. You know, you're speaking the truth, whether they like it or not. I'm so. going to put that on you, YouTube because you will, God will use you to help edify the church. We the need church to... needs edification. Oh, the praise God. The church needs salt. Oh, mind. praise God. So don't be discouraged. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I'm, I'm actually discouraged through discouragement. Um, What's well, your story? Uh, my story? Yeah. Well. I'm going to open air preach today at their at Riverside's downtown open air market. As you know, music's allowed, but I'm sure they're going to try to stop the preaching. But we'll see what happens. And the Bible says in John 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You see, when you drop down to verse 17, Jesus said, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And verse 18 it says, He that believeth on Christ is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, who was Jesus Christ, God Almighty. And this is the condemnation, and this is the condemnation, the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. 
For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. You see, folks, in the last verse, in verse 36, it says that he that believeth on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believeth not in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. You see, friends, one day we're going to die, and we're going to have again. We're going to have to give an account to God. And the Bible says that God's law is written upon our heart. And we know it's wrong to steal. We know it's wrong to lie. We know it's wrong to commit adultery or to lust for another person. And Jesus said that if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. So my friends, the reason why we must be born again of the Holy Spirit is because we've been born once into sin. The first man that sinned, Adam. And we're all a byproduct of sin. And my friends, because I love you, the Bible makes it very clear that our sins will kill us, but Jesus Christ can save us. You see, the Bible says that for the wages of our sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, became sin for us. All of the wrath that I deserve, God the Father poured upon His Son, Jesus Christ. He was born of a virgin birth, my friends. He came to live and He came to die so that you may live forever. Christ came to die so that you may live. And the word believe in the New Testament means to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. To be entrusted with Jesus Christ. So my friends, the Bible says if you call out on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved in repentance with a true heart of repentance. The Bible commands all men everywhere to repent from their sins. To repent or perish in your sins. And the word repent means to turn from our sins and surrender to Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So my friends, call out to the Lord Jesus Christ that he may save you from his wrath. Because the truth is, God is a God of love, but he's also a God of equity. If you don't know him as your friend and as your Lord, and as your God and your Savior, my friends, Jesus Christ will pour his wrath upon you and cast you into the lake of fire, which is the second death. God is not slack concerning his promise, that he wishes that no one would perish and that all would come to repentance. Jesus said in Mark 1.15, repent and believe in the gospel. Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, I tell you that unless you repent from your sins, you will all likewise perish in those sins. So my friends, please respond to the gospel call. Be ready to, to die for Christ's name's sake, not just believe. The word believe means to be entrusted with Christ, that we're to abide to Christ, to surrender to Christ, and to obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, that's the reasonable service of a Christian. That's what Christ demands of us. That's what he requires of us, my friend. So please do that now before it's too late. Because judgment day is coming, folks. You're either going to spend the rest of your life in heaven or hell.